so yeah, today is superhero day. So we're going to, I have all superhero art books to show you that I think are cool that you could totally check out from your local library. Or if you like, purchase them off Amazon or your preferred book choice. And then I figured as we get going here, Scott, my mom's supposed to join. Isn't that exciting? That is exciting. My mom's going to crash my class. All right. That'll be fun. Oh, I see my daughter. Hi, sweetie. All right. So let's go for uh, national. Oh, there's my mom. Hi, mom. Everybody can wave to my mom. Everyone's waving to you, mom. Hey, do me a favor. Put Devilson on. Spotlight Devilson. No! Yes. <laughs> hey, I'm here. Hey, there's my mom. Hi, mom. Thanks for taking my class today. You're welcome. So see, kids, all my creative talent came from my mommy. And then no. Maya's on, too. Maya's on, the, Maya's on this, too. She can say hi to Nana. Hi. All right. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's get moving with Superhero Day. So International Superhero Day, who knew, right? Um, I didn't until this morning. So I thought it only fitting to start off with, do you guys have any, I like to wear stuff. Let's see if this works. Yes. So this is about as close as I'm going to get to Tony Stark. All right. I could try to teach the class like this all day, but I don't think it's going to work. So, there's my Hello. There's my Iron Man. And I don't know about you guys, but one of my favorite scenes in an Endgame is when Ant-Man goes gigantic, like 200 feet tall. So, I could do the class today like this, but that's not going to do any good for facial expressions. So we'll, we'll put Ant-Man over here. All right. So National Superhero Day. Let's get into some, uh, some books that I think are super cool. If you guys like drawing uh, superheroes, you're kind of into that thing. I'm super into that thing. Uh, anatomy is key, right? Learning how to draw human and animal figures, uh, real life, because that helps you draw in what you're doing kind of like in your own cartoon characters and, and that kind of stuff. So <clears throat> the Dark Knight trilogy, right? The Dark Knight, this book right here is fantastic. It's called The Dark Knight. And it is the full production script, which means they have the entire written script in here. And I like that because I like to see the writing that goes on behind it it's just as creative and they've got storyboards from the film right which are super cool we're going to be getting into this kind of stuff uh in a couple of weeks where we're going to be storyboarding and kind of building out our own little animated short um so they got all things it's cool to read the script so dark knight is awesome keeping with the dc theme I'm looking forward to Wonder Woman 1984. Here is the Wonder Woman art of book, right, from the film. So what I love about concept work is the sketches and stuff that they put into it. And here's some storyboarding, right, some, some shots. It's kind of cool, right? So how they planned out shots for the film. So all you guys that are interested in drawing, there are so many fields that you can go into as a career if you love art. And probably one of my favorite Spider-Man movies to date is Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, right? This book is awesome. So to give you an idea of some of the artwork and stuff in here, let's see, I'll pick, a, pick some. No, we're not going to do backgrounds. So like the graffiti scene, right? All artwork done for the film. So they were kind of testing out which kind of graffiti scenes they wanted to do. Here's a storyboard from Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Right, pretty cool stuff. And then you have like character design. So there's his mom, right, different shots. So look at the facial expressions here. 
because this totally ties in with what we're doing today. So you can see the facial expressions, right? Which is what we're gonna get into today, expressiveness. And then, not to be outdone, the first four Marvel films, right? The Art Of, which is the art of Iron Man, Iron Man 2, Captain America, First Avenger, and Thor. Now, <clears throat> I'm gonna go into Captain America, First Avenger, because I think that's my second favorite MCU film. But what I wanted to show you was all of this is created by artists, right? So all these guys drew all this stuff, the concept work for the film. So there's, that's a painting, a digital painting, right? Of one of the scenes where he takes off in the plane, that's kind of toward the end. And then uh, let's see if we can, there you go. Here's a concept, concept artwork, right? Of the, one of the opening scenes where he, goes on his little show tour. All this had to be drawn and created by artists so they could see what the film looked like before they ever did any shots. So that's, those are my recommendations for books. Uh, Simeon would Supergirl. like to know where you got that Spider-Man book. Amazon. Amazon. I had to wait three months, but, um, but I got it on Amazon. You should, it should be available fairly readily right now. All right, so today here's what we're gonna do. We're, this week is all about um, emotions, characters and emotions, right? Today's more in the face, in the head, right? Uh, happy, like things are up, sad, whatever, things are down, that kind of deal. Um, and we're gonna work with some emojis to start. So if you have this sheet of paper, if you don't, we're just gonna, you can draw a circle on a page and start from there. So there's this page if you have it. And then we're gonna get into uh, Wiley Cowdy and his poses, right? and drawing some of those so to see like what chuck did to really put emotion into uh wiley's face because he didn't speak so there was a lot that was said just by his actions and how he was drawn and then uh thursday is going to be body language so you can be done yes um so thursday is going to be body language and like how characters body language um shows different emotions hey man yeah. Yeah, that's my Iron Man helmet. All right, you touched the Iron Man helmet. All right, so let's get into some let's get into some sketching. So what I want everybody to do is we kind of loosen up a little bit. You've got your your sheet of paper. Here's my giant sheet of paper. I'm gonna go a little a little closer in here. All right. What's up, buddy? So just in a corner here. All I want you to do is just small circles. Right, we're just warming up a little bit in the corner, small circles. Do not use your wrist, right? Use your elbow and use your shoulder, right? Keep it loose. Keep it loose. This is what we do every time as we kind of warm up to get moving. We get that movement down, just do light circles over and over. All right, that helps us kind of loosen up because what I don't, what we don't want to do is do really tight, hard lines to start. We want to keep it loose. All right, here we go. So if you have that sheet of paper, if you have this, we are, we are going to roll uh, 12 different emojis, faces, right? So we're going to concentrate on eyes and mouth. Uh, we're not going to worry about the nose on these, just eyes and mouth. So you can follow along. If you don't have that sheet, don't worry about it. You can follow with me. So let's see. I don't have that sheet here. I just have this paper. So I'm going to do three. I'm going to start there. All right. So I'm going to go uh, top left. Now, if you can think of an expression in faces, right? Um, maybe someone who's a little perturbed. They're, they're kind of, they're not like super angry right now, but they're a little perturbed. So um, maybe slightly disgusted. So I'm going to have kind of my sight line down this way and my eye line right here, right? Because they're kind of looking down a little bit. And what I'm going to do is, because I'm, I'm looking off to one direction a little bit. I have an eyeball here. Just do this lightly, very lightly. Okay. So I've got two eyes right there. I'm going to bring that in a little bit more. Scott, can you see that or does it cut off? It, it's right at the top. It's a little faint. How about now? That, that's better. Better? All right. Okay, so 
I've got kind of where my eye position is right in here. And, and this is super light because I'm not going to use the full eye. And I've got a little mouth. This little mouth is it's a little perturbed. Right? Not super happy. So he's he's kind of aggravated. And what I want to do is show that the his eyebrows, when you're if you look at your own self and animators would do this where look at how big my head is. And look at how, you know, your eye sits, like if you're up and it's down and whatever, right? And they would use that to do fit expression. So if someone's kind of angry, their eyebrow kind of tends to sit down on their face. Like so. So you notice I've got a circle, but I'm cutting into my circle here. And then I'm going to take my line. like so and then on the other side it's going to go up and down as well right super perturbed this guy didn't know it was superhero day and he wore a star wars t-shirt to superhero day so he's a little aggravated this emoji could be me all right and then i'm going to follow my line that i did with my eye Right, I'm just not going to do the top part, and we're going to say whatever his center focus is is kind of in the middle. Oh, perturbed. Wrong T-shirt on the wrong day. That's what this guy's upset about. All right, now we got our first one down. We're going to go into another motion, maybe kind of a little sad. So I'm going through my stages of grief for not wearing. Uh, yes, you're using the paper with circles. If you've got it, use it. And then we're going to go middle on the top. So we're going to go to the next one, which is sad. This emoji is sad. So all I'm going to do is I've got my eye line kind of here. We're going to say this is kind of down the center, right? And again, I'm just going to do very lightly circles for my eyes just so I know where they're at it doesn't mean I'm going to use the whole eyeball now I've got a we've got kind of sad right so kind of a downward turn not like because that's kind of angry this isn't this is more of like a quivering lip sort of all right, and then my eyebrows, they go in, right? Sad. Sad because the rock hasn't crashed our class yet. We've tried so hard, but we're not giving up. The next face we'll do will be what happens if we find out that The Rock might crash our class. Not that he has yet, that he might. All right, so sad, right? Oh, The Rock hasn't crashed our class. And sad eyes, like the irises, which is kind of that part of, I was going to poke my eyeball out right there, right? Can get a little bigger. So you have big, they call it like big sad puppy eyes, right? You need to eat some more of your sandwich, kiddo. Yeah, you do. Mommy just said eat your sandwich. And now everybody on TV knows that you didn't eat your sandwich. I'm not doing Thor Ragnarok right now. All right. So we got big puppy eyeballs, right? Irises. And then we got the little speck of white there. Oh, look at that. The bigger they are, the sadder it is. Did your parents ever tell you they're like, stop giving me that puppy dog sad face? Because they can't resist it. It's going to do one tear. Oh, tear. Did anybody see the Trolls World Tour movie? Am I the only one? Oh, all no. Right, Bill. Amin did. I mean, all right. So now to me, I don't know what those people were on when they made that movie, but it's kind of wacky, right? Which I like. So in, in Trolls World Tour, they have a tear that's a character that sheds another tear that's not a character. It's kind of funny. All right. Anyway, that's that's my ode to World Trolls World Tour. All right. Now we're going to get into the this space. So we've got emotions, right? Kind of frustration. We've got sadness. I don't know, man. Did you eat your sandwich? Yeah. I doubt it. 
Go get a piece of bread. All right. So I'm gonna have my I'm gonna have my eye line a little bit further up, right? And we'll, we'll do center. We'll just keep things in the center. Now for this, I'm I'm pretty thrilled. Okay. Kind of happy. I I've, I've just found out that, and now this isn't for real. So tater tot, don't hold me to this, right? But I just found out that you know maybe maybe the rock got our message. He's not coming on today that I know, but maybe I just found out that he got our message. No, he hasn't, and I have no idea. But this would be the face if I knew it. So we've got the eyes. They're kind of big. I've got my eyebrows that are up, right? I'm like, oh, something interesting might happen. And then I've got kind of some smile lines up here, right? Kind of goes into my eyeball a little bit there. And I'm gonna put a big old goofy grin. Now, in this, you don't have to have as big of eyeballs as you do here, a little bit more that side. And then I'm going to go ahead and just so finish up my eyes. So I've got a cheek that kind of cuts in a little bit. And then, Scott, can you hear that? I can hear you. All right. My son has my minion fart gun and he keeps oh. pulling the trigger and I'm like, dude, come on now. <laughs> as long as nobody hears it, that's fine. All right. So there's my happy, like, I think something cool might happen today. I'm not sure. All right. I'm going to do, for those who have the sheet, you don't have to do this. For those who don't, we're going to do kind of three more circles. Get into some facial emotions. Oh, Scott told a really good joke and I was cracking up. So I've got kind of a happy face to it but it's not just like a happy smile face i've got some teeth showing i'm kind of I'm, I'm chuckling right I'm, I'm we're gonna do a chuckling face so my head's not totally straight up it's kind of tilted to one side a little bit and i'm gonna kind of put it right there now you ever laugh so hard that your eyes start to water and you'll notice that when you laugh really hard maybe your eyes close up right so you have like closed eyes open mouth, that kind of deal. So we're going to do this. We're not doing eyeballs. We're just, our eyelids are, our eyes are shut because we're laughing so hard. Right. And then Hunter, dude, you got to stop playing with that thing. Yeah. You need to stop right now. Okay. Pick it, pick a different toy, man. All right. And I've got some big old smile lines up here, right? And my mouth is open because I'm hysterically laughing. Oh, look at those teeth. Look at those teeth. I got it. my tongue showing a little bit here, right? Because I'm laughing so hard my mouth's open. And you can fill in a little bit. There you go. Scott had the best joke. He showed me a meme. It was hilarious. Right, I'm cracking up. All right. Um, now, this one we're about to do is a similar look that we're going to apply to Wiley County. So this one's going to be the look of, oh crap, right? Um, so if you know Wiley Cowdy, this is like the tunnel paintings that he do. He does the fantastic tunnel paintings. He's the Picasso of tunnel paintings, except for stuff comes out of the, of the painting, right? So, so this character is just kind of freaked out. So what I'm going to do here is the eyes are going to be a little bit bigger. So I'm going to set my, I'm going to set my eye line down toward the bottom, right? Like, so, all right, you better eat that. Okay. All right. And then we're going to do kind of like ovals and they touch in the middle. 
All right, so keep this super light though. All right, We're, we'll tie it down in a minute. One eye can be a little bit bigger than the other. So just keep that super light for the moment. And then we've got our eyebrows. And just a super, like, super tight lift. You're like, boop, right? Underneath here. I got kind of lines underneath my eyes, kind of like little bags. Now I'm going to take and I'm going to tie this down. I'm going to go a little bit past. So see up at the top right here, I'm going to go a little bit past my eye or my, the circle. And I'm going to bring it down to right here, but I'm not going to connect this yet. As a matter of fact, I'm not going to connect it at all. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. So this is going to kind of go away. So I bring this line back up, go just past my circle on the top, right? And then super, super tiny, and it can be different sizes, right? But super tiny irises. Like it's going down. This is the, this is the train coming out of the tunnel painting look when you're standing on the road. All right. You ever give somebody that look like, really? You know the really look? Carson knows the really look, right? Where you're like, that's the really look. Scott, is the rock coming on today? And Scott says, no, man, I haven't even reached out to him. And the whole time I've been like, really? That's the look. So we're going to do that over here. All right. So I've got my, I've got my really look like, I'm, I'm a little... I'm a little disappointed, right? All right, so here's my circle. I'm gonna put my eye line kind of like right about a third of the way down. And I'm gonna kind of give it, we'll kind of be looking toward the center. Now, I'm gonna put my eye like so. So you can just do two circles, keep it light because we're not gonna use the whole circle. So you, this is just so you can see where it is. Well, wow, dude, Scott, I think you're catching some heat for some people. Uh-oh. <laughs> I know. This is great. Everyone's going right. to give me the really face. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Scott face. This is the <laughs> Scott has not got the rock on to crash our class yet face. All right. <laughs> so this is the really thing, right? And now I'm going to come in with my eyebrow, and it's just going to sit like so right so i'm gonna cut into my circle a little bit below half i'm gonna bring my eyebrow up this is kind of like my eyebrow right like so and then i've got like a little line here maybe a little line there right so you can tell that i am not thrilled and then we can do line weight all right dude all right All right, now I'm going to bring this down, and I'm giving that look like so. Like, I'm looking underneath my eyebrows, Scott. I know you'll redeem yourself. Okay. And I'm giving that look. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Really? All right. This is my really... What, dude? Okay, you're fine. All right. Let's get in on that third set of circles. Um, Scott, I might need to move this down. You just tell me how it looks. Yeah, it, it might help a little bit to move it. All right. We're going to adjust. There we go. My overhead cam shows up next week, which means <laughs> we're going to be able to do this a little bit better. All right. Now I'm just like, I'm, I'm angry, angry. Right, I'm I'm gritting teeth, anger. Right, so this this up here was frustration. This down here is I'm just straight up mad. So I'm gonna put my eye line uh, like halfway up. So we're gonna sit a little higher on this one, and I'm gonna kind of bring it 
down in the middle, right? So if I'm super mad, my eyes are like real tight, which means they're, it's using they're narrow, right? They're not open, wide, huge, it's real tight. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna start with, on this one, I'm just gonna start with my eyebrows. And I'm gonna, well, not thrilled. I do not like mayonnaise at all. I just found out that they put mayonnaise on my sandwich. And they did it as a practical joke. And by they, I mean somebody that I know. Like Maya would never do that to me. Would you, Maya? Maya knows that I do not like mayonnaise at all. There is mayonnaise on the sandwich, and I am not thrilled about it. All right. I've got my eyes that just peek out underneath it. Right? So, like so. And... like so super tight <laughs> not thrilled mayonnaise who does that it's like people who eat mayonnaise with french fries it's just wrong all right and i got lines under here right because your cheeks are kind of up too so you can kind of see that's oh uh -oh. i think we lost ben there Nope, we're good. We're good. good. Okay. Yeah, I had a call come in and it goes to my iPad. All right. So I've got my irises that are kind of right in the middle. Like I'm right there. Look at that. Ferociously. Th this could be the Hulk face. It's superhero day. This is the Hulk, Hulk smash mad face. Now I'm going over and up. Right, so my cheeks are pushing up here, and this is why, because my mouth is like I'm visibly upset. Hulk smash. And then I've got teeth. And then the sides of my mouth. Maybe we lost Ben this time. All right, he'll be right back. He has another iPad that's charged, he told me earlier. Um, let's see, this might be him coming in right now. There he is. Thanks, Scott. Absolutely. Uh, it did exactly what I thought it would do. All right. <laughs> All right, is that better? Can we? Let's see. So one thing I don't have is my earbuds. All right, let's try this. All right, we're back. All right, can we see that all right? Are we good? Yeah. So that's my whole yeah. mad face because I didn't charge my iPad last night and it just went out. Okay. All right, there's our angry face. Yeah, Daddy didn't charge his iPad, right? All right. Okay. So watch out, man. All right. This is kind of the uh, the <laughs> face, right? Um, where maybe we're a little embarrassed, uh, slightly, like like I am, right at the moment, because I didn't charge my iPad and the video totally went away. And I told Scott ahead of time that might happen, and I wasn't sure. And lo and behold, it happens. So I'm I'm kind of looking off to one side. Go figure this would be the class that my mom jumps in that I don't charge my iPad and it shuts <laughs> off. All right. Can you hear me all right, Scott? I can hear you. Perfect. Okay. All right. So we're going to do uh, oval style shapes here. And I'm not going to make them. I think the one tilts in a little bit. And I'm gonna have my cheek line right there. And then I'm gonna have a little smile line right there. And we're just gonna draw like a little, you know, start with that, right? And now we're kinda like our teeth are a little clinched. So 
So we're going to show some teeth. All right, so there's the start. Now, what turns this into like a sheepish kind of look is how I do my eyebrows. So it's not quite, it's kind of in the same thing that we did with sad where they kind of curve up like so. And then I got another one over here and they go past your, <clears throat> you'll notice they go past the circle. So past the edges of your oval, right? And then I can go ahead from here and fill in my eye. And then I'm gonna put my irises. There we go. Right, this is kind of a, I'm a, I'm a little embarrassed. All right, now we're getting into, I'm just, <clears throat> it's, it's like cringeworthy, like pain, right? I'm in pain. Um, now we all want the rock to, to crash our class. So if the, you know, the rock works out, he's got that superhero style. We've already called him a superhero. I think Amin's already referred to that or something. But um, this would be, if I tried to lift half of what the rock can lift, this would be the look on my face. All right, so we're gonna start with our circle over here. I'm gonna have an eye line that actually goes kind of like curves up a bit toward the top. And I'm looking pretty much down the center, right? So I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do a circle and a circle, kind of light toward the top. And then I'm gonna have my, um, we're gonna start with the eyes because we're gonna put cheek lines in and stuff. So I've got this line that kind of shoots over. So where my, my confusion or my embarrassed line curves up, this kind of curves down, right? So I've got a line here and then and then my eyelids on the bottom are kind of half coming up. All right, so we can see that we're not exactly feeling great, right? I've got a cheek line that goes up. And then from here, we're going to do one big mouth. And it goes, stretches from one side to the other. All right, I've got teeth. And then I'll fill in the sides. All right, this is the look of pain. If I were to try to run more than a block, well, let's not even call it a block, run up the stairs or lift a tenth of what Mr. The Rock could lift. All right. We're gonna get into our last three. So I'm gonna tilt this down a little bit. So you guys can see. Yes, the pain. That is raw pain right there. All right. That would like that would be the look on my face also if I had to watch Frozen 2 again. Sorry to all of you that like Frozen 2. I just can't do it. All right, so we're gonna do three more circles. All right, so on, on our bottom left, this is gonna be one of, this would be like, so, this is sort of our Mr. The Rock face, sort of. So it's got that one eyebrow. Can you smell what The Rock is cooking? I don't know. I mean, look at how many times we mention him in class. You would think he would just come on by now. Not that he needs the PR, but still. All right, so I'm gonna do, light circles, right? Because I'm not going to use the entire circle, but there's where my eye placement is. 
Okay. And I've got my eyelid down. So my eyebrow is kind of down a little here. And then here. Oh, come on. If that's not a rock eyebrow. All right. And then you can fill in the underneath here. I'm going to put my eye right there and right at the eyelid. So they're kind of in the same spot. And then this is the what? It's the what face. How many times do I do that to my kids? My, how many times do I do that to you? You can answer. All the time. Do I do that to you all the time? Yeah. Yeah, I do. You're so nice. All right. I have two daughters. They're both my favorite. Okay. So we've got kind of a sleepy face, right? And then we're going to do a mischievous face. So this is the sleepy face. I'm going to start here. I'm looking right down the center. I'm going to keep my eye line a little bit lower. Ella says, what about the scared face? The scared face? That's kind of more like, well, that's pain. Yeah, we'll have to figure out a scared one. I don't have like a super freaked out, except for this one. This one's kind of like the freaked out face. All right, so we'll get these circles in for our eyes. Again, we are not using the whole circle. We just want to know where our eye placement is. And I'm going to have these big old droopy, sleepy eyebrow line or eyelid lines right there. Right, I got heavy eyelids. Has anybody ever fallen asleep eating? I have fallen asleep eating, not even that long ago. All right, all right, we got eyebrows that are kind of just hanging up there. It's very peaceful. This person is gonna fall asleep while I'm drawing. I am already putting someone to sleep. Look at that. Oh, it's kind of the sleepy face. It's either the sleepy or I really don't care face. Either one. All right. It's superhero day, right? Apparently, International Superhero Day. So our last one is going to be mischievous. We're going to call this the Loki face. So I'm going to be looking slightly off in this direction. So if I were the character, the character is looking off the page a little bit to the left, right? And I'm going to have an eye line that curves up a bit, like so, kind of a little bit below halfway. And this is where I'm going to put my eye line, right, the beginning of my eyes. So I got one there, one here, and just doing like a like a half circle, right? And I'm looking off to one side. All right. That's sort of mischievous, except for when we add the eyebrows. Now it's mischievous. Got that angled up eyebrow. <laughs> Loki's up to something. And it's not super mischievous unless you have a super mischievous grin. Like so. Yeah, that dude's up to something. He's kind of looking at the Ant-Man helmet. I don't know what's going to happen. All right. So we've got some emotions, right? We've got mischievous, the sleepy, I don't care look, the I smell what the rock is cooking look. Yeah, I'm so much look. The I can't believe I didn't charge my iPad and it shut off when my mom took the class look. The I'm in super amount of pain because the rock, I can't, this is what would happen if I tried to lift a tenth of what the rock lifts. 
this is my furrowed brow kind of like this is my really face this is the scott hasn't brought the rock on the show and crashed our <laughs> class face right here this is, this is my scott face oh no <laughs> <laughs> I'm not mad at you, dude. Like, I love you. I'm just, you know, <laughs> kind of, all right, this is my scared out of my mind face, right? And this is my, Scott just told me a really great joke, and I am cracking up face. And then going up the chain, this is my super happy, this is my happy face, because I've learned that The Rock did acknowledge that we've been saying some stuff. This is my sad face, because I wore a Star Wars t-shirt today instead of a superhero shirt, and I love Star Wars, but it's superhero day. And this is, I like, can't believe it's not butter face. And for those of you who are old enough, you would know exactly what I'm talking about. All right. So here's what I want to do. We just did in emoji form, right? Cartoon expressions and how that translates just using eyes and a mouth, right? This is how you can kind of play with eye movement and stuff like that. So here's what I want to do. Um, I can't see what time it is. Scott, what time is it? 1243. And, and, and actually, I'm going to interrupt you real quick. I mean... Has his hand raised? Yes, I mean. Can I share some of my faces? Yeah, please do. I'm going to go around and share. Let's roll this. Dude, those are awesome. <laughs> I, think, I think your pain face is way better than my pain face. I love it, man. You did a great job. And do you have veins popping out in the angry face? Yes. Yes, you do. That, that is a Hulk smash one right there. Well done, man. Love it. Scott, go ahead and run the run the table. Claire? Hi, Claire. Claire. I love it. I love the fact that you have stuff going on outside, too. That's I awesome, like man. You. Way to go. I like you. Okay. Good job, Claire. Hey, oh, Sophie. Sophie. Don't worry. <laughs> Does it taste good? <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, no, you're fine, yeah. man. Dude, that's sweet. And if you look at the pain face, I put little like lines around it. I love it. <laughs> I love that, man. That's awesome. You did a great job. I got two. You did Thank two? You. Well done, Sophie. Going to Bella? Bella. Oh, dude, check that out. I love the happy face. You did a great job all the way around, man. No way. Way to go. Bye. I love all the facial expressions. Good job, guys. Sophia and Emily? Sophia and Emily. So this is, here are my emojis. You did awesome. You did awesome. See, even Hunter says you did awesome. That's cool, man. Yes, Caden, you can share. Pop up your little blue, uh, your digital blue hand if you can. If not, we'll remember to come to you. Good job. You did great, dear. Thank you. You're welcome. Liliana and Heather Rose. Okay. All right, Liliana and Heather Rose. Let's see your emoji faces. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, I love the freaked out face too, man. That's awesome. You did a great job on all of them. Well done. Well done. Oh. Oh, you like that too? I know. I love the off, like the off center ones too, where they're looking in a way. Can you hold it up just a little bit more for me so I can see the mischievous one? Um, up a little bit. Up. Nice. That's a Loki face for sure. Well done. Well done. Liliana and Heather Rose. Well done, guys. Simeon is up next. Simeon. This, these are my faces. <laughs> Those are great. I love Thank them. You. Tell me about the, tell me about the, um, do you have a beard on the one? Am I seeing that right? Uh, no, there's no it. beard. Okay. I wasn't I sure. It. It's a little fuzzy. I can't do it. Okay, it's all right. That looks awesome, dude. I love, I love the angry face too. <laughs> Thank you. You did a great job. Samantha. Samantha. <laughs> Samantha. Those look great. Oh, dude, I love the freaked out one, too. You guys did such a good job on all these. You know what, too? I love what you did up at the top for the, uh, for the perturbed one where I'm kind of frustrated. I like the fact that it's even looking down a little bit more into an angle. Well done, man. Good job. Thank you, Samantha. All right, Q. Q, Q has their hand up, but I don't see video. 
Okay, Q, if you want to put video oh, up. There's video. All right, let's go to Q. Let's see. If she, can we unmute her audio? It is. It is? Yeah. She might be having an audio issue. All right, that's okay. Here, tell you what. Show it to us. Go ahead and hold it up because I think you did some like. Oh, dude. You have a whole character thing going on. That looks awesome. Very cool, man. I dig it. Well, way to go. All right, Caden. Can we go to Caden? Um, oh, yeah. Sorry. Let's go to Caden. Yeah. All right. Hey, what's up, buddy? Uh, <laughs> nice. Go ahead and hold it. Hold it right up there. Sweet. You did a great job, man. Love those faces. Hey, come on, man. Sissy's on here. Well done, well done, dude. All right. Do we have Amelia? There's Amelia. Hey, Amelia. Hey. Let's see how. You... Oh, look at you. I love the expressions, man. I love the expressions. You did a great job. Thank you. Well done. All right, we have uh, Soren. Soren, what's up, dude? Let's see what you got. So I even like made some of mine like say things. <laughs> All right. One of the one that's like what's like what? Yes. Yeah, see, that's my what? Yes. Well done, man. You did a great job. You did a great job. Thank you. For that, no, got mayonnaise in his sandwich. He's like, you. Yes. I yes. put mayonnaise in his sandwich. Who puts who puts mayonnaise in a sandwich? I don't know. I don't know. All right. So let's get to uh, let's get to a Wiley Coyote because I know we we're running uh, times running slim. So we're gonna do some Wiley Coyote stuff and get into like a full character expression. So here's what I want to show you. I did some practicing. Right. Remember constantly talking about practice, practice, practice. Chuck Jones is very famous for saying, draw everything, right? Draw everything. So how do we relate stuff that we did there in emojis into cartoon characters? So I did this one on Saturday, right? That's kind of like the freaked out pose, right? Like he knows something's coming. So this is like the freaked out face. All, all fine and good. And then we've got practicing out on some sketches for Wiley Cuddy. So this is, this is my like practice stuff this afternoon, right? So today we're gonna get into one of these. We got time for one of these and then for everybody to kind of show what they've done. So here we go. Everybody's got their paper. We're all good. We're all good. Scott, we're all good, yes? We're all good. All right. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. All right, I'm gonna make my mom show hers too when we're done with this because mom's not getting out of that. All right. Here we go. So Wiley Coyote. I think we're gonna do the. Uh, let's see. I think we're gonna do the perturbed. We're gonna do the "Are you kidding me?" pose. Let's do the "Are you kidding me?" pose. So here we go. How to translate this into a cartoon character? All right. So Wiley Coyote. We're gonna start with. Take my paper, keep it light. Remember, keep it light. It's gonna do like an oval shape. All right, so his head's kind of a little bit of an angle, right? And then I'm gonna have my, my eye line super low on this. So I'm just kind of right toward the bottom there and I'm looking off to one side. Just a bit, like his head's tilted just a little bit that way. So in Wiley Coyote, how I like to like block him out, right, is I, I understand kind of where my head is, right? And then I'll usually use ovals for where his cheeks go. So this will help me understand like where his, the sides of his cheek go. Like so. And then I'll do the same thing with his snout. So. I'm gonna do where I've got kind of like the bottom of his nose right there. 
And, is and there with a those, question from Tater Tot? Can we use our own character? Um, if you want to, sure. So this gives me kind of an idea, right, of when I'm blocking out Wiley Cowdy, where certain features are, and uh, and that way when I'm drawing it, I kind of keep things into proportion a bit. So I've got some ears at the top, and I'll usually do his ears as like kind of triangle here and then down, right? So I'm keeping it real loose. Notice I'm not using my wrist. I'm only using my elbow and my shoulder. And then I got an ear kind of coming down like so. In there, super light blocking, right? Just like that, we've blocked in a rough of Wile E. Coyote. Now in, in a pose, and we're gonna kind of keep it in the face, but he's kind of resting on his arms a little bit. And we'll get to that in a second. So I'm gonna go for his eyebrows and bring his eyebrow up. All right, this is the, it's kind of his really pose. He's, he, he definitely used an acne product the wrong way again, and the Roadrunner has gotten away. Right, so I've got. I'm starting with his furrowed brow. And then I'm gonna bring it down like so. So there's kind of his eyebrows, right? And the reason I'm gonna start with his eyebrows is because it's a little bit easier when I start with the eyebrows and how I put his eyeball. So from here, I've got like so. Great. Yep. Right, like that. So you can see, like, he's kind of perturbed. His eyes, super slim. I'm just over here. All right, he's kind of looking off in the one side. And then on the other side, same kind of thing where. His eyebrows are real low. His eye, or I should say his eyelids. His eyelids are pretty low. All right, and he, his head. Let's put his eye a little definition too. So his his head kind of comes up in a, a bit of a sort of triangle, right? Like so, kind of like a mountain peak. And he's got that tuft of hair at the top. All right, so there's kind of the top to his head to start. Um, now, when I'm doing his cheeks, the first thing I I'll usually put in when I'm working the bottom part of his face and his muzzle is where his smile line is, right? Because that relates to where his... Um, where, how I do the cheeks. Like so. And now from here, I can kind of map out where I want his cheeks. He's got a little bit of a... All right, so I did this oval, kind of gave me an idea of where his cheek lands, right? So I can kind of follow that around. back up and then on the other side it's going to come right from underneath his eye same thing and now we're going to put the beginning to or his uh the front part of his nose like so, and then one more line like that. All right, so that's kind of the front part of his nose, and then we've got to like to have the tip of his nose. And it's like a teardrop almost. Let 
you know, kind of like the what we do with the eyes where you got a, like a little glisten on his nose, right? So now that we have this in a little bit, he is resting on his shoulders a little bit. So all I'm going to do, I'm not going to do his full body, but I've got, you know, I'm just going to show the top of his shoulder like this and one arm kind of coming down. All right, there's his arm. He's got one arm underneath and then on the other side of his cheek. Same thing. So he's kind of resting on his, his arms like so, right? It's perturbed. Let's get into the ears. So I've got my ear that comes up. I'll do the outer part of his ear first and that A lot of these poses I have never drawn before, so it was kind of tricky. And the whole idea is practice, practice, practice. So remember Chuck saying, have you got 100,000 bad drawings in you and the faster you get them out, the better? Well, the only way to do that is keep drawing and then don't get intimidated by it, just do it. And we're gonna do his other ear. So we're gonna kind of follow that line that we did. And he's got some furry ears like so. Just like that. So maybe he's sitting on a rock. We'll just do that part there. He's sitting on a rock. There we go. There's his rock. All right, Wiley Cowdy. Just like that, you've drawn Wiley Cowdy in an expressive pose. And if you think about it, Wiley Cody doesn't talk, right? So Chuck and his team of animators had to really put a lot of uh, the expressions and emotions that he was feeling into his body language and his, and into his head. So how he would look, like his eyebrows, his mouth, all that kind of stuff in order to, um, in order to display emotion. So the last thing, of course, is the signature. All right, so there's my Wiley Coyote. So we've gone into some emoji expressions. We've translated it into the world famous super genius himself, Wiley Coyote. And before we go around the clock here and take a look at whoever wants to show, here's what I would like to do. Let's do the grid view. So if you guys can, and then Scott's gonna tell us when he's got the image. If you can take your Wiley Coyote, if you can put it up to the camera, like so, you guys know the drill, right? And we're gonna take a snapshot. So everybody put your Wiley Coyotes up. Oh, see mom, you did a great job. So did you, Maya. Good job guys. All right, Scott, you tell, you tell us when we're good. Right, just waiting for a few more. All right, keep them up there guys. How about Amin? Amin, you wanna throw yours up there, dude? Okay. Count to three. Good. One, two, three. Perfect. Perfect. Nice job. So, um, yes, Caden, absolutely. Here's what I want to do. If you would like to share, I would love to see everybody's stuff. You guys always are very encouraging about other people's artwork. I love that. Um, if you would like to share, go ahead and put up your digital blue hand. I already see a whole bunch popping up. Um, Mom and Maya, you don't have a choice. You've got to show yours. So... That's just how we're doing that today. Um, so go ahead and pop that blue hand up. If you would like to show, you don't have to show. We have a mean up first. All right, so let's you go up. Resting on a rock. You what? You know how he's resting on a rock? He's resting on a rock. On a rock. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I that you though. Awesome. Ooh. Man. I, you know what? If that doesn't get him to come on the show, I don't know what will. That is brilliant. Brill I mean, you get the gold star today, man. Well done. That's hilarious. <laughs> I love it. 
Oh, good job. We have Q. Q. You are live. Dude, I love this. So is this a character of your own design and creation? I love it, man. That's awesome. Love the facial expression. All right. Claire's up. Claire. Dude, Claire, that looks awesome. Have you ever drawn Wiley Coyote like this before? No way. Come on. You've had to. That's too good. You did awesome. I love your Wiley Coyote. I am super impressed, man. Good job. Thank you. You're welcome. Liliana and Heather Rose. Liliana and Heather Rose. Uh, All right, ladies. Let's. Here's mine. Sweet. I love it. Man, you got that attitude pose down. Like he was very upset, so he wrote. So he carved into his. <laughs> I love it. Oh, that's so good, man. You did great. Yes. Sweet. Dude, I love the, the poses are great. You guys nailed the poses. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. See up next is Soren. All right, Soren. Oh, I think we lost his video. We'll have to come back to Soren. All uh, right. Let's go to Sophie. Sophie. Okay, here's mine. I turned him into Mr. The Rock. <laughs> oh, dude, the bandana is so awesome. And he has tattoos. Uh, you also, Gold Star. That is hilarious. I love it. You got the attitude pose down, and I swear, man, if The Rock has to come on, how can he not crash this class? It's a celebratory rock thing all the time. Sophie, you did great, man. I love that. Well done. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, next is Simeon. So Caden, yes, we will make sure to come to you also. Simeon. This is my life theory. What? Simeon, that looks awesome. Thank you. He totally looks like, he's given the really face, really. He, the <laughs> road runner got away again. You did a great job, man, I love that. Thank you. Thank you. You're and welcome. this is my, um, right here is my Scott face. Oh, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so good. Scott, you've been immortalized, man. That's great. <laughs> oh, that's awesome, Simeon. That, you did great, oh, dude. That's you. hilarious. All right, David's up. All right, David. David. Dude, that looks great. I love the line weight you put on it, too. You did a great job, man. I dig it. Have you drawn Have you drawn Wiley Cody before? Thumbs up, thumbs down. Have you drawn Wiley Cody before? What? I don't believe it. I don't believe it because that looks good, like, like you've been doing it for a while. I love it. Good job, man. Sophia and Emily. Sophia and Emily. I think we only have Sophia today. Mine. Oh, we have both. What? That looks awesome. He definitely doesn't look happy. Something, the Roadrunner got away. Good job, guys. So, uh, what do you think? Wiley Cody, not bad, huh? No. Kind of cool. You guys did a great job. Thank you. Going to Samantha? Samantha. Yes. <laughs> My Wiley Coyote, and then my favorite one is the Loki. Oh, dude, the I love the Loki one, and you know they they kind of have they kind of like work with each other also the Loki face and the and the Wiley Coyote face. Nice job, man. Well done. Thank you. You're welcome. Tater tots up. Tater tot. Nice. Oh, dude, that's cool. Is that it? I love the earring. And then what else do we have going on? Yes. Okay. Okay. You did awesome, man. I love that. Is that your own character of your own design? Oh, you know what? I can't hear him. Is he muted? He's muted. Wait, hold on, Tater Tot. You're muted. 
All right, go ahead, buddy. He's not my design because I got him from a draw to adopt recently. Okay. I'm really happy about that, but he is my character, so yay. Well, I think you did a fantastic job. That is a great looking character, man. Thank you. You are most welcome. All right, let's jump to Amelia. Amelia. Hi, again. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. And an armful of tattoos. Come on now. That is brilliant. I love it. Amelia, you did a great job, dear. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Soren? Soren. So I made my lungs on it. So I made my... So this is... So he's thinking like... What? <laughs> thinking that because Roadrunner got away? Yes. That's a really good plan. That's going to be the word of the day. What? <laughs> nice. Good job, buddy. I like that, man. Going to Caden? Caden. Caden. Yeah. Well done, man. Thank you. You did a great job. I love the look and the pose. You're going to be a Wiley County pro in no time. Well done, dude. I'm impressed, man. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, let's go to my mom. Mom. Look at that, mom. Come on, guys. Can we give my mom a hand? Yes. Yes. Mom, you get a hand. I'm impressed. I think she's muted, but that's okay. Oh, you did uh, a great job, Mom. Yeah. You what? I don't know. I can't hear you, but it looks awesome. You did great. I'm so proud of my mom. All right. See, look, Nan there's Nana. Say, good job, Nana. Oh, don't get shy. All right, let's go to Sissy. Let's go to Maya. Hi. Yes! Very nice, Maya. See? Look at that, Maya. I like you did a great it. job. We're, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give my, my daughter a hand, too. Well done. Well done. All right. Does anybody else want to go that hasn't gone? Look, see, everyone's clapping for you. <laughs> all right. So let's do this. Um, you, guys all did, you guys all did a great job. Uh, loved the expressions and the emojis. I loved what you did with the Wiley Coyote, right? You can take that into your own characters, and some of you are already doing that, like Tater Tot, which you pulled off with yours. and Q. I know I, I forgot the name, but I think that was it. Like your characters and stuff came off really cool. So you can practice that as you have characters, right? The whole idea is like, what is that character feeling? And why does that matter, right? And so you can translate what we're doing here, stop doing that, into something um, that's part of your own character. Don't stick your tongue out. You can get down now. All right, so here's what we're gonna do for next time. We're gonna do body language, right? And so we're gonna have characters that express themselves in body language. So I'm gonna go Daffy Duck on this one because Daffy Duck has some classic body language poses, specifically when he squares off with Bugs Bunny, right? That and Marvin the Martian. So we're gonna explore body language a bit and how that translates into character emotion. And then I may or may not do some poses in some whatever that you can take as we do this whole weird thing with body language and like how that translates into exaggerated features, right? So um, there's two on Wednesday for tomorrow. You've got Lee in the morning, or yes, you've got Lee in the morning, or no, I'm sorry, Mike. Mike Funt with the clown school, and you guys are doing like some acting stuff, which is hilarious. And then you, you've got Rhiannon in the afternoon. So the pose one is, next, is on Thursday, right? And we're gonna do that. And then as we get in, I'll tell you what we're doing for um, next week because we're going to do one super big draw on next Friday. And it's going to be for two hours. And there's five to six things that you can jump in on different Zoom things for. I'm going to be building cartoon sets. Somebody else is going to be drawing. We're going to do acne inventions and some other things. So that's next Friday. And I'll, I'll tell you more about that on Thursday. So you guys did awesome. Um, I'm going to post this again, the screenshot. We're going to send it to The Rock. I think are we all in favor of turning Scott into one of our muses? I think we should, I think Scott should be a staple just like The Rock. So Scott, we're gonna find something for you. Sounds good. 
All right, so we'll see you guys Thursday at noon for, for mine, but we have stuff at, at uh, or mine's at 2 p.m. Central time, but we have stuff all day tomorrow, Thursday, and Friday. Have a good one, guys. See you later. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye. Hope the rock comes. Happy, happy Superhero Thank Day. Thank you so much. Bye. You're welcome. Bye.